Welcome to the Bluegrass Trust for Historic Preservation's December Detour, featuring the Unitarian Universalist Church of Lexington, Kentucky. As you can see, we are standing in one of Lexington's most architecturally significant hidden treasures. This gorgeous sanctuary was designed by world-renowned architect Herb Green and was built in 1965. So as you pull into the driveway, you'll notice right away a sea of forestry surrounding the building. Seven and a half acres of just gorgeous landscape of a number of native plants, different trees over the years, as this used to be a farm. And then it was Native American land, it was a slave plantation, and now it's our church. So we were standing at the original entrance to the church when it was first built. Uh, and in 2019, we actually demarcated that and gave it uh, a BGT plaque. It all began in 1959, when the congregation bought seven and a half acres of land, a barn, and a farmhouse at what was then the south edge of town on Clays Mill Road. Adult services were held in the nearby Republican Meeting House on Higby Mill Road. Religious education classes for the children were held in the farmhouse, which the congregation named the Richard Allen Fellowship House after the original owner of the home and property, who was a champion of religious freedom. Built in 1790, the Fellowship House is the second oldest standing structure in Lexington. It has been declared a Kentucky landmark worthy of preservation by the Kentucky Heritage Commission. The church building erected in 1965 combined worship space, commonly known as the Great Hall a small kitchen area on the main floor with classroom space for religious education just below. The building has always been wheelchair accessible. The original plans called for RE space at the end of a lobby, storage, restroom corridor just below the Great Hall. But these dreams were not realized until 1998's major building expansion. After extensive research, planning, and fundraising, the new addition, containing classrooms, offices, and new kitchen and multi-purpose room, was completed and dedicated in May of 1998. In the process, paving was added and some trees were also removed. All while work progressed, the preservation and protection of the beauty of our grounds was maintained during construction. Currently, church membership is at 300 members as it continues to grow. The original congregation had a unique and wonderful vision for this sanctuary. They wanted a house of worship that related to the earth, to life around them rather than only to heaven. That's where Herb Green stepped in. By 1965, after working with architectural luminaries like Bruce Goff and John Lautner, the architect had established his own reputation as an innovator in organic design that focused on contextual relationship to site. His 1961 organic modernist masterpiece, The Prairie House in Norman, Oklahoma, was photographed by Julius Schulman for Life magazine and received international notoriety. Green designed that home for his personal residence, but only lived there briefly before he was offered a teaching job at the University of Kentucky. Oklahoma's loss was Kentucky's gain. Herb Green brought his profound sensitivity and respect for the interplay of natural elements to the design landscape of Lexington. In response to the congregation's request, he created these continuous windows looking out to the surrounding landscape. The wraparound window seats provide overflow capacity for 50 people. Steel trusses minimize structure to enable the roof to hover over the congregation. For educational and other programs, the lower level has large windows and ease of access to the site. Black stain on a massive cedar shake siding and white painted steel trusses give this suburban church a degree of regional identity. So we are standing in our memorial garden here at the Unitarian Universalist Church of Lexington. Just behind me and all around me, you'll see mounds dedicated to nature and plantings alongside beautiful rings of stone with names that also serve as a columbarium where people are able to spread their loved ones' ashes about the space. 
but also sit and enjoy and walk around in this beautiful natural environment. Thank you so much for joining us on this month's Detour. We encourage you to check out Herb Green's wonderful website, www.herbgreen.org. There are some photos of some unbelievable residences that he designed in Lexington. We'd also like you to check out our website, www.bluegrasstrust.org, for more information about the Bluegrass Trust for Historic Preservation. Mm -hmm.